what the president just said on this very, very sensitive issue. Let's listen. The people who defy congressional subpoenas on the January 6th committee. I hope that the committee goes after them and uh, holds them accountable. Should they be prosecuted by the I, Justice I do, Department? yes. What's up, everybody? Major retired Richard Ojeda here. And I hope that the committee holds them accountable and goes after them because that would be music to my ears. President Biden is saying what we are all begging to see. This is not about vengeance, retaliation, or street justice. What we as the American people want to see is accountability and our government working to ensure that those who break the law in this country are held accountable. And if tried and found guilty, punished to the fullest extent of the law. A few months has passed since the horrific acts that took place on January 6th, but we must never forget. That march, rally, gathering, demonstration, whatever the hell you wanna call it, did not happen overnight or even over the course of a few days. That insurrection was months and maybe even years in the making. And let me tell you why this is important. Because Trump and his demagogue cronies, Bannon, Miller, and their congressional allies, Paul Gosser, Jim Jordan, Josh Hawley, they knew that they had no chance of winning the 2020 presidential election. So what they did very early on in the summer of 2020, months before the election ever took place or a single ballot was cast, they started spreading the seeds of lies that there was foul play in the electoral system. These lies had no legitimacy, no facts, no nothing. They were manufactured by those now refusing to testify in front of the January 6th special committee. Very similar to the birther lies, these same people started. They throw out thousands of crazy propaganda talking points for whichever one starts picking up attention, that's when they jump on it and start adding gas to the fire and help it spread even further with the far right media megaphone that they always have in their pockets. Certain people within the government were working behind the scenes to make sure that the rioters were given special instructions on areas where they needed to hit. Reconnaissance tours were given by Boebert and Marjorie Trainwreck Green, but remember both of them were new to Congress, but it does look like they were actually pointing out certain offices of key members of Congress for the would-be attackers to hit the following day. There were others also that participated in the reconnaissance tours and they too need to be held accountable. Another thing I would say, Lester, is, you know, as we try to figure out, well, it looks it looks now like the Capitol, the, the police. Have yeah, been uh, Pete, let me break away from you a second because things are happening very quickly. The government did this to us. We were normal, good, law abiding citizens. They no longer have been able to keep them back. What happened here, folks, is our democracy, our government, our country was put to the test and we survived, but just barely. There is no guarantee we would survive another assault like this. And that is why we must investigate how they perpetrated this insurrection, who was responsible, and yes, punishments. Stiff punishments must be handed down. That's an absolute fact. Sappers through the way, airborne all the way.